Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Back to do part 7 of my top 40 creature features. Now, at the end of this one, instead of giving you ones that I own that were on the list but didn't make the cut, this time I'm going to give you ones that I do not own that would have definitely been on my list if I owned them, if that makes any sense. But without further ado, let's get started. We finally cracked the top 10. And coming in at 10 is Prophecy. I think this is a great film. I love this film to pieces. I've always liked this film. Um, wasn't sure whether I should include it in my list or not, being a creature feature, but this definitely qualifies. And like I said, it's always been a favorite of mine. And I don't think it gets talked about a whole lot. But, good film. And that is number 10, Prophecy. If you hear some rattling along in the background, it's my wife eating breakfast. Coming in at number 9, Jeepers Creepers. Now, I know most people consider this a slasher, and it is. But it's also a creature feature. I don't think anybody can deny that. And I do like both of these films. Jeepers Creepers was always one of my favorites. Second one, not so much at first, but the more times I watched it, uh, is actually, I liked it better. So, but Jeepers Creepers is an awesome film. Um, made by a not so very awesome director. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But that is number nine, Jeepers Creepers. Coming in at number eight. This is probably going to surprise some people. Rites of Spring. I love this film. Um, loved it ever since the first time I saw it on Netflix. And I've watched it several times since I've had it. And it just gets better and better. Um, I would recommend this film. I actually haven't heard a lot of great things about this film. But to me, I, I just think it's great. And it's multi... It's like a multi-story inside of this, so it's definitely it definitely doesn't drag, that's for sure. But it's a lot of fun. And that is number eight, Rites of Spring. Coming in at number seven is Pumpkinhead. And I finally get to put Pumpkinhead in one of my lists. Didn't really think it qualified as a slasher. Um, just my opinion, I guess. But it definitely qualifies as a creature feature. And it is one heck of a creature feature, in my opinion. I uh, definitely love the design of the creature. Uh, Stan Winston, wow. I just think he knocked it out of the park in this one. And the funny thing about this movie is, I remember when this um, originally got advertised. And a film to be called Pumpkinhead, I just thought would have been so stupid. Just a completely ridiculous name, but such a great horror movie came out of it. It's just, um, just amazing. But that is number seven, Pumpkinhead. And I do like the sequels as well. Of course, they don't match up to the original, but... And coming in at number six is The Boogans. There's Frankie. Hi, bud. Number six, The Boogans. Uh, I think this is a fantastic movie. This is one that is a bit of a contradiction. Um, I am not overly fond of the creatures in this, as I am the story. And I just like the characters. I think the characters are great in this film. And I think they're written really well. It was one thing that always stood out to me. And this film just oozes 80s. I do like the creatures, but, eh, I mean... The design was okay, but but that is the Boogans at number six, which means we're one step closer to my top five. And now, at the end of this one, as I do a lot of the others, I'll give you some that I actually don't own this time that would have definitely made the list. Uh, actually, I'm going to save that one for last. Bad Taste. 
I do like that film. Uh, some people consider it more of a science fiction film, but I like it. I don't own it, and I know it goes for quite a bit of money. Uh, the Tingler with Vincent Price. A great film, and I know that that is getting a Scream Factory release pretty soon. Attack the Block. Such a cool film. That would have probably... That would have been in my top 15, I know that. But Attack the Block is a fantastic film. Definitely a recommendation if you've never seen it. And the last one that I said I was saving it into last, and the reason being is because I just heard that it is getting a Blu-ray release, and I'm pretty excited about it, is Dagon. Uh, completely fun film, took me by surprise always heard people recommend it, but it was one that I just was never in a hurry to see. Once I finally did, I don't really know what took me so long. <laughs> it's just a really, really good film. And that brings us to the end of Part 7. So, if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.